Abbey 34. Right, our rates are taken from here. Come on, Mr. Rush. You ought to come with me. Very good, sir. Oh, come on. I couldn't do that, sir. Are you refusing an order? It's the first law, sir. I can't break that. You're coming with me to Dr. Lanning's office. That doesn't break any law. But I couldn't frighten Mr. Brooke out of his boots, sir. Even if the self-important ass deserves it, what? Even if I knew he'd be alarmed by me. Well, we'll prepare him for you. I'll think of something. Yes, sir, he might feel better if you called me Herbie. But I didn't say... No, sir. Then... That's right, sir. Your thoughts. Can't you read thoughts, sir? Oh, please don't panic, sir. I can't help receiving your mind, and it hurts me when you're upset. I can't help reading thoughts. I was made that way. No, sir, I can't switch myself off. Your thoughts are very confused, sir. If you're afraid of anyone else discovering me, why not lock me up? In there, sir. My story, Liar, uh, involves a robot which, through some accident in the manufacturer, turns out to be able to read human minds.